you're going down. Funny, I was thinking the same about you. Mighty Queen. You wanted to see me, Empress? Spazor, your glory is always welcome here in my chambers. Thank you, Empress. You wanted to have words with me? I do. But first, the Tranya. I hope you relish it as much as I. to the next victory. Thank you, Empress. There will come a time when you will take my throne by force, as I did once with my superior. But I have some time yet, so don't get any funny ideas. I have a few more thousand millennia. But we do have something to fix. And that is... Well, recently, I intercepted a thing called a wavelength, an old form of communication, very primitive, and I traced its origin to there. A little minuscule planet called Earth, apparently inhabited by millions of diminutive creatures, weaklings all. But legend has it that there is one amongst them, one great giantess. And that is our challenge, most formidable. You need to go to planet Earth, find this great giantess, challenge her to a duel, and then we will broadcast live the bloodshed all over Buximus, and it will be such great morale for the planet. This bitch have a name? She goes by the name Beverly. Wrong. Her name is Toast. Your ass is mine now, bitch.
way he cuts! That was too damn big to break down! How about it? I got it. Now that's what I call a foot job! Had a baby! Had a big baby! Mom, I need to take that one off the milk! I'll show you a big baby. Hey! How am I supposed to get a bar looking like this? Aww, does baby need his diaper changed? It's about time you take a shower. Is it Saturday already? You gonna do something about her? Probably gonna give her a raise. She's the best worker I have. It's twice the work and half the time. I heard you already gave her a raise. Hey, that's enough. I won't have it. I don't know how it stands at all. She's a freak! One more word out of you and I'll... And you'll what? You sure you want to find out? Well, of course. I thought so. Now get. Whistle already blew. You have fun with your fr... Girlfriend? I'll be filing a grievance with the union. Do whatever makes you feel big. Hey, Bev. Yeah? This guy's leaving. You want to blow him a little kiss? You sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. Sure you won't get jealous? Come on, baby. Give me a big old smooch right in front of your man. You have anything else you want to add? Good night, Mike. Good night, Miss Beverly. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. You okay? Totally. Liar. They're right. I'm a big, freaky deaky. Well, then I'm a pinhead for liking you. You say the sweetest junk. By the way, it's payday. I already deposited your check into your account. You can check for yourself if you- I trust you. Thanks. I'll just need to work at this dirty place for the next zillion years to pay off all my lawsuits and bills. Was it so bad? I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I appreciate all you've done for me. You're the only person who stood by my side. I get it. You're used to the life of Riley. This is my life of reality. It's not that. I don't miss the clothes and the money and the parties. I just would want to sleep in a real bed for once. Maybe someday. This is really hard for me. I was a self-made girl. I was so independent. Being 50 feet tall is like so five months ago. I was, I was love-hated for so long and now I'm just hate-hated. What's better? being admired by millions of strangers, or knowing the love of one single person who has your heart. Hmm. Just kidding, you goob. You know you mean everything to me. It's just that I try to do something really positive for the world, and I ended up wrecking the entire city. All of my money gone overnight. My ex made sure of that. And even if I had all that money, it still wouldn't make a dent in all my lawsuits for smashed houses, smudged power lines, and broken ribs or whatever. Well, it's just like construction. I used to be the poster girl for obscene wealth and hotness, and now I'm the poster girl for like a monster movie. I love monster movies. Having fun down there. <laughs> you rock me, baby. Are we interrupting anything? Boy, what I wouldn't give to be him right now. Professional, remember? I guess. Hey, dudes. Doctor dudes, please. Lana. I mean... Oh, never mind. That's pointless. <laughs> Thanks for coming down to the site. Must mean you got some good news, right? Mm. Not at all. You mean I'm getting worse? No, I mean, this is just a courtesy visit to assure you we're still thinking of your plight. 
we have no real results one way or another, so, um, yeah, hi. How you doing? Still big AF. You're seriously writing that down? I'll research it later. It could be fortuitous. Most likely not. So no change in the results from last time? Not at all. She's no smaller than she was before, but on the bright side, she's no larger. We think that's something. Like what? Fuchsia and Gary return to normal size. Why them and not me? Inconclusive data, unfortunately. Our theory is they ate less of the substance than you. Beverly Woods and Holy Matrimony? Yes, that substance. I thought of that name myself. Also unfortunate. We want to run some more tests on them to see if we can string together a timeline of consumption and events. Then do it. Well, we have no blood or cell specimens at this moment right now. Why is that? Mm. Both of them are boffing their brains out in Hawaii for an indefinite amount of time. Dennis! <laughs> well, sorry. Don't worry, Bev, it'll happen. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Sorry to break that news, Miss Wood. You know, maybe this is me being selfish which means I've matured a little bit. But I don't really care about them. I just care about me. And I don't want to be a freak forever. Gary ate only a little of the substance. Beverly Woods and Holy Matrimony. Yeah, that one. We're still unclear as to how much fuchsia ate. It could all just boil down to metabolism. It just hasn't worked its way out of your system as quickly as it did theirs. We have no explanation, just theories. Sucks. Well, that's it. Sorry to say. Thank you, doctors, for keep on keeping on. We both appreciate you. We are working on this, and we'll be in contact if we find out anything at all. In the meantime, we're only just a phone call away. Call us for anything, Miss Wood, even if it's just emotional support. Make sure you ask for me, though. <laughs> Let's leave these two. Star. Make a wish. I wish I was normal again. <sighs> What's wrong? I used to be a star, burning bright, and now I'm like this big black hole of suckage. Don't say that, Beth. If space were an emoji, it'd be a sad face. Well, you definitely don't suck. It used to be my specialty. I'm so horny, and we can't do anything without you getting hurt. I've got just the thing. Really? Work? Now? Nope. Really? Spelunking? <laughs> I like to think of it more as... Spelovin'. I'm not back in half an hour. Don't send help. Wakey, wakey, legs and sexy. <laughs> Good morning. You uh, really hammered me last night. <laughs> Literally. Open those pretty peepers. I got a little surprise for you. What's that? Breakfast in bed or croissant in the quarry? Even better. Your fan club is here. <laughs> hey, it's my only fans. We love you, Miss Wood. We have a gift for you. What's that? Spa day! <laughs> 
Director Jim Wynorski, and I'm stopping this film right now. There's just too much gratuitous sex. Biggest battle of all time. Literally. Look at her. I think you'd agree she has a few pounds on me. Not to mention an extra 45 feet. Details, details! Once you've grown to her size, this will be easy peasy. Giant squeezy. Grown to her size? We'll talk about that later. Damn right we will. You'll wipe the desert floor with her ass and your booty will be rolling in the looting. I don't know. Your your schemes are usually scams. I got this. Every eyeball on Earth will pay to see this big bitch battle royale with cheese. Big bitch battle royale with cheese! Aren't you afraid she's going to recognize you? She'll stomp on your head. My son, Bradley, okay, had it coming, okay? But it wasn't me who took advantage of her. He strung her along for years. To tell you the truth, I want to make her and us rich and famous again. And filthy, stinking, hawking rich. How's your son doing these days? I heard that motorboating accident really traumatized him. Traumatized? Almost killed him. From yesterday alone, Beverly Wood Branding received 3.2 million individual views across all brands. They live in their mom's basement because they spend all their money on you. The hottest girl on the internet. It's what the fans want. Scientists. A good morning all depends on the mood of Beverly, and her mood depends on if this is ready or not. Well, there's still some testing that needs to be done. Well, it's not a real carrot. I mean, it looks real, but it's a Beverly Wood carrot. Well, right, so what kind of side effects are we talking about here? Death. Gastro bloating. Total and severe body melt. One small bite for a visionary entrepreneur woman. One giant leap for ambassador kind. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's no... What's your fantasy, Bradley? Two girls! So big. So big. They were so, so big. Good afternoon, Mr. Fortinova. Are you ready for some lunch? No, no, no! So big! How about having just a little milk? Ah! Take it away! <laughs> ah! I can't take them anymore! <laughs> Doctors say he may never recover. And why would he want to? He may spend the rest of his days in the booby hatch. Careful what you wish for, I guess. You know, if you'll excuse me, I have a big deal to propose. Wish me luck. Go get her, tiger. What the hell am I getting myself into? Ah, uh, excuse me, Miss Wood. Do I know you? Um, not really. No. I'm kind of busy here, fella. This will only take a minute of your time, but I assure you, it'll be worth it. Millions worth it. Beat it, creep. I'm done with pervs. I am not your everyday run-of-the-mill perm. Trust me. Ew. 
Get lost. Bye. Hear me out. And you look like someone I used to know, so double ew. Bothering the lady, pal? This is private property. I suggest you turn around and go back the way you came. Please listen. I can help with the bills, the lawsuits, everything. You can pay all that off? Are you a lawyer? Uh, ha, I'm not that sleazy, pal. I'm a promoter. Promoter of what? Events of the highest end. Total quality. Name one. OK, well, to be honest, this would be the first of this caliber. But trust me, no one has ever done this in the history of mankind. I think you need to turn tail and get. Let him talk. Everyone deserves a chance. Thank you, Beverly. Miss Wood. So what are you proposing? Well, 50 million bucks. Win or lose? Win or lose to what? Does it even matter? There's nobody else like me, and I'm a crazy bitch, so. I like that book. I don't like this. It doesn't sound right. That money sounds pretty right to me. About right. But you haven't said who or what she's winning or losing against. Winning? It doesn't matter, Beth. It's not worth it. <laughs> Her? Definitely winning. You think you're so big and tough? I am, though. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And bitch, you're the biggest. You're gonna fall so hard, your lips are gonna flatten. Does anyone hear that tiny, annoying, little buzzing sound? Get me my fly swatter. I'm gonna crawl up your ass and turn you inside out. Yeah, well, I'm gonna floss my teeth with your scrawny boy body. You're gonna taste what the conda is steaming. Uh, okay, wait, we talked about this. You can't say that. Sorry. You're going down! Way, way down! Uh-huh. Yeah, huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Okay, ladies, save it for the event! Okay. Totally. See you then. Late. I like your helmet, FYI. Thank you. I, I, I don't like this at all. I, how, how is this even gonna happen? Your girl doesn't stand a chance. Beverly could seriously hurt her without trying at all. Don't worry, let me work out the details. Okay, when is this supposed to go down? Give me about a month, okay? I, I need to advertise, sell tickets, promote. Anna needs to grow. I'd say that again. Into character. A Anna needs to grow into character. I don't like this. You will! This could be my out. I don't think so. Looks like it could be the one. Could it be? It could. But none of them have been so far. The aroma's correct, if I recall. It smells like snossages. Well then, no. I was going for gravy train. I personally like the smell of it. And my dog Poochie loves it. <clears throat> when can, when can Anaconda try it? Well, I don't see any reason Not why we yet. Can. It isn't ready. Well, I don't see any reason why we can't. This is, this is, this is ludicrous! Okay, wheels are already in motion. I'm paying you money for, for results! For the record, I am categorically opposed to any of this. It isn't right. What happened to Beverly Wood was a gross miscalculation on our part. We still don't know of any long-haul side effects. Like total body implosion? Would you get over the total body implosion already? It can happen. Yes. It could be a possibility. Finally, you admit it. <laughs> <sighs> that doesn't sound cool at all. It isn't. I really don't want to melt, Brian. Oh, oh, you won't, baby. I promise. Oh, I assure you, you won't melt. If anything, total body implosion. Hashtag, here we go again. <laughs> OK, the minute something happens, contact me. I got a fight to promote. 
Let's go. This is it. This is it. Turn it up. Turn it up. Jack Jackson here. Hot off the presses, ladies, gentlemen, and sports fans of all stripes and types. Gee whiz, I don't know where the hell this came from or what the hell they were thinking, but I know I'll be watching. Fortune Over Promotions dropped word of this David and Goliath story just a few minutes ago, featuring former socialite and social media star influencer, along with a slew of other job titles that aren't really jobs, Beverly Woods. You might remember her as the 50-foot demolitionist who crushed half the city with her hind end. She will be on the bill against newcomer Anaconda. Boy, I'd like to see how she got that name. In an all-out, no-holds-barred, good old-fashioned cat fight. Not unlike the one happening right behind me. The promoter called this one War of the Girl Gantuas. Jesus Christ sucking down a fruit cup. That poor girl. Expect a bloodbath here, gang. Tale of the tape says that Anaconda stands a towering five foot nothing. She's gonna need an extra bowl of Wheaties that morning, I tell you. What's that? Conda sets a lady bubbles on fire. Folks, this might just give her the edge she needs in this bout. We're gonna have to find out. Until more freaky news rolls in, this is Jack Jackson saying, keep hitting and kicking those balls. Oh my God, that was so exciting to see my face on TV again. I, I still don't know about this. Don't know about what? That was definitely my face. Yeah, I know that, and it's gorgeous. But to be honest, I, I don't like any of this. I, I feel like they're exploiting you all over again. But now I know I am. Now I can control it. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. With $50 million, the only other shoe that's gonna drop is my custom product. Just kidding. I'm a working girl wearing working boots, but that money will really help us dig out and set up. Suppose so. I know so. You deserve to be pampered too. You've been so good to me. I don't know. Mike, as if you didn't know it already, my entire giant heart belongs only to you. I'm never gonna go back to my old ways. You've taught me what's really important. And what's that? It's the little things that matter. And you're pretty little, bud. <laughs> Computer! Yeah. Scan for that big little bitch. <laughs> Could be it. Cross your digits. This needs to happen now. You've said that 20 times already. Well, this time I mean it. It's fight night! If this fails, it means you fail. Which means I fail. And I don't fail. You read me? Yeah. Okay. So. Who's gonna eat it? Do you care who eats it? No. Well, then you eat it. No, 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 you eat no, it. No, 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 you eat it. No, 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 I insist. No, I insist. I insist infinity times squared. I got into science because I was tired of being surrounded by morons. Yet, here I am. The purpose of the experiment was to replicate and cure world hunger. The gigantism is an undesirable side effect. Don't you get it? It doesn't have to be eaten. It just has to replicate. That's the first step. If it replicates, we know we're on the right track. Fuck that shit. I ain't eating that. <laughs> Crazy? Of course my money's on the jolly pink giant over there. You don't even like her. I like making money. What if I told you that Anaconda gal sets her major yabos on fire for fun? That's half the used of today. They're nuts. 
I'm still betting it all on Bev. Why don't you two take a long break? Hey, Bev. Hey, Mike. Can you come over here so we can talk for a second? Is everything okay? Yeah. I, no, I, I don't know. What is it? This fight. There's something that's been nagging at me. I mean, you're a big girl. Ha ha. You know what I mean. You're gonna make your own decisions and do what you wanna do. But I just want you to know that I wish you would reconsider. Why is that? Because I care about you, that's why. Because I love you, that's also why. Really? You've never told me that before. Well, it needed to be said, because it's true. Then, say it again. I love you, Beverly Wood. I love you too, Mike! I've wanted to tell you for so long, but I was scared of being the first person to say it. <laughs> All right, now, about this fight. You've supported me for so long through the good and the bad. Way bad. Mostly bad. I don't think I like where this is going. And I'm not just doing it for me. I'm doing it for us. I just hope you can see from my perspective. I wish I could from this vantage point. Literally, so many bald spots up here. I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing this for us. Well, it sounds like you've made up your mind. So let's do this the only way we know how. And how's that? Big. I love you so much. I want the whole world to hear it. I love you, Mike! I love you, Mike! I love you, Mike! Computer. Yes. Locate the source of that hideous sound. Oh, I got you, girl. JG Randall, on location at Oil B. Beck Refinery. This site has been pumping crude for almost a century. But in less than a month, the main event happening here will be a heart-pumping excitement the likes we've never seen before. This is War of the Gargantuas. On one side, the once popular, now polarizing, social media bombshell Beverly Wood. 50 feet tall and God knows how much she weighs. On the other side, rising star of the squared circle and beyond, Anaconda. Clocking in at five foot four and listen, don't ask a woman how much she weighs, okay? Just don't do it. Anyway, next is War of the Girl Gantuas. We're fortunate to have both opponents with us today, where both have set aside their beats for this exclusive interview. Who are we rooting for? Who is the villain? Anna, can you tell us, why did you choose this fight? Why this hill to die on? Because you, you are gonna die. You know that, right? Beverly, same question. I'm strictly about the money. Fair enough. This isn't about the money for me. Never, ever. Then what is it exactly? Fame. Maybe the money? By the way, your hair? It's crunchy. That's something coming from the Burlington Throat Factory. <gasps> These ladies know how to go straight for the jugular. You're not gonna wanna miss this one, gang. Call your pay-per-view provider today, one month away, one night only. This is War of the Girl Gantua. Back to you, Jack. And there you have it, folks. Crunchy hair, don't care. Who will be victorious at the War of the Girl Gantua? Today is Monday the 21st. Dr. Dennis has pulled the specimen from the solution and placed it on the plate. What trial number is this? This is trial number 69. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What trial number is this again? This is trial number 69. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's wrong. What is so funny about 69? Oh, it's funny. 
<laughs> Nothing at all. Classic. Goes back to the millions. Oh, really ew, good. I get it. God. And I'm ignoring you. Trot the dice. Ah, my favorite dinosaur. Well. Well. Get on with it, no failure. Well, here goes nothing. And when I say nothing, please, please don't be nothing. Maybe a good luck drum roll. Oh, okay. So, that's like flaccid. <sighs> nothing. And now we commence trial number 70. Any jokes about that one? Oh, no, because you know why? 70's not funny! Because I've always thought 70 is a much livelier number. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> 69, it is! It's incredible! It's incredible! Oh, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! no, 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 no. I said incredible, not edible. So what now? Total body implosion. What gives? If we're gonna go through with this, you gotta be prepared. Get up, let's get cracking. I'm gonna teach you to wrestle, how to box, and how to bite. Chicks don't fight fair, believe me. You're gonna box, you want your hands up high, guard your head, right? Right, don't throw out here, cause then they're gonna hit you right here. Tight, tight, everything tight, right? Just don't, don't throw one punch, throw multiple punches. One, two, three, four, right? And then do it fast, all right? So that's your punching, now, you're gonna throw a kick, right? Straight forward, right? You wanna go straight at her. Right in her nose. Nice wrecking boobs. Yeah, bitch, what we got. And if she comes running at you, you're gonna wrestle, she's gonna come try to grab you. You wanna duck down, grab, and come up, and then slam her down. This is not gonna be easy. Say again? Holy Carl Sagan, we've done it! Yes, we can get Beverly back to normal! <laughs> Computer! What? Location of the source. Girl, I don't even know! Do it! God, I was painting my circuits. I call them that because they're sure cute. No! Okay, sheesh, go that way. No, that away! Your ass is mine now, bitch! I knew you wouldn't die a virgin. Oh, well, ew, that wasn't what I was talking about. Not even close. I'm sure there's still time. Beverly, we've successfully recreated the mystery modified protein. Beverly Woods, unholy. Mitramoni. I know, I know, yes, that one. I named. How about yourself? What an achievement. The point is, the re-experiment is a success. The hot dog replicated. Woo-hoo. <sighs> Honestly, I'm a bit shocked. I thought you'd be beside yourself. I'm one big bitch, not two. I don't think you're quite grasping this, so let me be more specific. This means we can reverse engineer the specimen. Beverly Woods, unholy. Stop it, just stop it. It's literally the worst name for a world-changing product ever. I liked it, I thought it was rad. You would. Beverly Wood. Experiment. Success! You, small, 
now. You mean you successfully recreated the meat experiment and reverse synthesized it so that I can be a normal sized human again? Yes, exactly. Why didn't you just say that? I really don't know. Yay, goodbye big bitch, hello shoe and panty shopping spree. Yay, retail therapy. <laughs> Could this thing work? Per our calculations, I'm confident to a one-tenth of a percentile of a 100% success. This can and will happen, baby. <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? I thought this is what you wanted. More than anything in the world to be normal-sized again. To really be with Mike. Then why the hashtag sad face? The fight. It's tomorrow. Then hold off. We really need the money. Look at me. I'm shaking. That explains the tremors. <laughs> Screw it. How soon can we do this? How soon can you be at my lab? Color me gone. And pink. Tall stack snack. Where are you? A little something for good luck tomorrow. Not that you're gonna need it. And uh, show you how much I love you. Bev, honey? My tall stack snack? Where are you? There you are. Not who you were expecting, huh? What the hell is this? The edge I needed. Oh, this is not good. You don't know what you're messing with. I do, and I love it. I have always been bigger than life. A woman eventually grows into herself. I just needed a little something to get me there. You're even bigger than she is now. 60 feet and worth the climb. Well, wait, if, if, if the doctors made you tall, then maybe they could reverse it. Why would anybody not want this? No, it is a curse, trust me. Spoken like the little bug of a man that you are. Does, does Beverly know about this, uh, about you? I wanted to reveal myself just before the fight. Watch her cower. <laughs> The ultimate mind fuck. Where is she? I wish I knew. She better not be a no show tomorrow. Or else. Or else what? Or else this! Keep it. 
Nobody cares about me anymore. Let's check in with our opponents, shall we? I knew it. She's too chicken a show. Oh, no, she's around here somewhere. Do you see her? I mean, you can't really miss her. She's here. All right, she's going to show. She's probably getting a pep talk from her little rock digger friend. She's scared. You've got the element of surprise. Nobody, nobody could have expected you. All of you. What if she doesn't show? I'll look stupid. If she doesn't, she forfeits, and a win is a win! I came here for a glorious bloodbath! This is not a glorious bloodbath! And reporting on this colossal event of epic proportions, breaking all recorded pay-per-view records. There are a lot of freaks out there in the home audience, all tuning in for <laughs> Beverly Wood, Anaconda. Who will survive and what will be left of them? The main event starts right here, right now. Let's get to it. Hey, where the hell is she? No idea. Well, find her. You know how much is riding on this? Do you think we're safe standing here? Absolutely no question about it. So, were you able to shrink her down? Trust me. Just stay with me. Hope you didn't do anything stupid, Bev. We seem to be missing one of the girls. Beverly Wood is missing. She's too scared to show her face without a filter? Come on! I want to fight somebody who wants to come down and tussle! I don't want to waste my murder mode. Behold, 
needs to be done. I promised my boyfriend I wouldn't get stupid drunk anymore. Not that. The ultimate finish. Pee in the streets and crawl home. You dumbass hoes. Then what? You must end me. Here? Everyone's watching. Kill me. You have to kill me for the love of Petunia. Ew. Not ew. It is the warrior's way. Do not shame me by killing me like some totally lame loser! Hold that thought. What are we gonna do with her? Just that we off the bitch. Ew, harsh. That's what she wants. What Mike taught me about being an actually good person is you can't always get what you want. Yeah, Pat! Woo! Holy moly, folks, this was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I don't think I'm gonna be forgetting about it anytime soon. Are you? Of course you won't. This is Jack Jackson closing out the show here at Oil Be Back Refinery. All she needs is a really good spanking. I think you're right. Good riddance! Yay, Earth! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh really now? Uh, that was one and done. I'm just so happy to be living another day. <laughs> I'll allow it. Congratulations! <laughs> you know what just came to me? I think I can get you two double booked in Vegas! That's what happens when friends set aside their differences, right? Are we friends now? Yes! Best of besties. Yay! I've never had one! Great job, ladies. I am so proud of both of you. Hey, everyone! We're all gonna get laid!